Hello everyone, Bob Boyne from Trident here, again with another industry spotlight in our ongoing series related to Blackline and how it can help organizations. Today, we're going to be focusing in on retail industry, an industry that is near and dear to my heart. So long before my accounting days, I started my career in retail selling suits and electronics. Uh, in my external audit days, one of my largest audit clients was in the retail industry. And now I work with organizations helping utilize Blackline to improve financial close processes related to, to that industry. So a frequent challenge that we see there has to do around the data aggregation in the retail industry. So today we're going to focus in on that and how Blackline can help achieve a more effective close for organizations in this industry. Okay, so bank reconciliations. Well, no matter the industry you're in, you've got to deal with bank reconciliations. Um, so you've got your bank statement transactions on one side, your ERP transactions on the other. Someone needs to go through a process of matching. So I think of, uh, again, any organization we might speak to today, how's this being done? Well, if you're lucky enough to have an ERP that has uh, some functionality around this, you might be doing this process manually within your ERP, or you might have some automated-ish functionality that, that you're leveraging there to, to automate some of this uh, work. If, if you're not, you know, you're probably using Excel. So bringing your data from your bank, Excel, um, or putting it in and, and, and doing your matching there. Um, but if you operate in the retail space, no matter what you're using, this process is not going to work, or at least not fully going. And the reason it's not fully going to work um, is really down to data aggregation. What do I mean by data aggregation from a retail perspective? Well, it's really the batching of transactions on, on both sides of the fence here. So whether it's in your ERP space, your ERP is not going to record uh, a transaction. It probably isn't going to record a transaction every single time you sell an individual good. Uh, ERPs just can't deal with that volume of individual line items. So data is being aggregated in some way, batched, sent to your ERP. Similar sort of thing can be occurring on the bank side. And this is really uh, probably more to do with aggregation of data relating to platforms you might be utilizing. So if you're accepting uh, transactions through a, a payment gateway or uh, a buy now, pay later system, or maybe a web platform that's selling your goods, you know, you're going to get summary level payments the transactions posted in a, a day or over a period of time. And there's going to be fees coming out of those transactions, maybe at a transactional level, maybe after the fact, um, as a, as a standalone thing, you know, everything is different, but the batching of these transactions is what causes the issue because you might not be able to tie everything on a batch to batch basis. Therefore you need to go back to those other, you know, detailed level data sets, bring in your payment gateway, uh, information, bring in POS information to complete your reconciliation. So if all you have is information at that summary level, you know, your reconciliation process isn't going to work too well, whether it's in your ERP, whether it's in Excel, um, or even in, in, a, in a tool like Blackline, if we have transactions at only that you know, higher level. But what we can do from a Blackline perspective is enrich both sides of the fence here. So whether it's your POS systems into your ERP, whether it is um, your payment gateway or payment gateways or web platforms into your bank statement transactions, we can bring in both sides of the fence. Think of it like a find and replace from an Excel perspective where you are taking, um, you know, all this summary level information, using it to replace the batches. And that is now what we bring into Black Hunt for the purpose of matching. And there's a whole other sort of value proposition that goes along with Blackline's transaction matching around uh, automating those business processes, got separate videos, um, and, and collateral around the you know, specifics of how that process works. But the piece that I think is critical and different and common for organizations operating in that retail space is the ability to bring in data outside of just your bank and your ERP transactions and bring that into that automated matching process and something that when I speak to organizations, lots of them don't even know that it is possible to do something like that. Um, but it's an area that their teams are spending tremendous amounts of time, you know, manually reconciling or, or compiling data to, to, to put into a single Excel document. So that's a little bit about Blackline transaction matching context of the retail space. 
if you're interested in learning more, the, the team at Trident would be happy to have a chat and understand a little bit more about your specific processes and what a solution might look like. Thanks very much.